Okay, today we're replacing the wing due to the damage here um, on this Jeep Grand Cherokee 3.0 CRD. So this is the V6 diesel. Um, so there you go. <clears throat> um, I've seen some videos of how you remove the bumper. So you can probably have a look online for some of those, but I will show you what I'm doing with the bumper as well. Um, and then we're gonna try and move this wing. And the reason why we're having to take the bumper off if I zoom in on this wing here, you'll see at the front there's these connectors. They basically are going round the, <clears throat> the light area. So, if you are looking at your wing, it's probably worth noting a couple of things really on your wing when you're doing it. There's a number of connectors at the, along the top You've then got these, which essentially sit, um, this is where the bumper sits up and your light's here. This is where your bumper is. So these are under your bumper. Um, you've then got two at the bottom, which is where your bottom plastic sill is as well. Um, and then we've obviously got the normal clips for the plastic surround, and then the ones on top, which will be a bit easier to get to. So that's the sort of basic layout of the wing in terms of where the bolts are. So next up really is taking a few things apart on the actual car itself. I said so first up what we're gonna do, we're gonna take apart, start taking apart the, the bumper parts. Um, in this car, the grill comes off with the bumper. Um, now I know you can use special tools, I haven't got anything as flash, I've got a kid's plastic tool. And actually with these ones, there's a, you can see it, there's a tiny recess next to these so you'll if you if you look at it closely you'll see this tiny tiny recess and you can just put your i've got a plastic spoon i use plastic just pop it in there and actually you can see there you can get it in you can use it as a lever to get these up once they're up all i'm then going to do is unclip and you can see here already the the grill is starting to move so here now I've got these up, same on this side here. So there's two of them, one here and one here. And that's basically got my grill kind of loosened off. So the bit of my grill is now um, loose. Um, next up, I'm gonna turn my attention to the um, ins inside wheel arch. So you want to turn the, the wheel of the car for this one um, so that you can get to it. But we're looking for three, three bolts here, one 10 mil and then two rivets here, which are actually holding on this plastic trim here. Now I will be taking off all of my trim because I'm doing my wing. Obviously, if you weren't doing your wing, you were just doing your bumper. You don't need to take all of this off but I do need to take all of mine off. So I'm gonna take this off, this off. Now I think these rivets, from what I've seen, are a little bit more difficult to do and some people perhaps actually drill them out. So I'm not 100% sure yet how well they're gonna come out. So I've got a lot of muck on mine. So it's possible I'm gonna have a little bit more hassle and I'm going to take a bit more off as well on the inside. So let me just turn my wheel. And then we'll have a quick look at these rivets, see how we do these rivets. Okay, so I'm taking these rivets out of here at the moment. Um, I'll just zoom in as best I can on this one for you. So this is where your rivets are. Now, my my plastic fork actually broke so what i've done just to help this thing along i haven't got um cutters so all i've done i've just taken a bracket i've notched two just notched out so i've got a rivet kind of lever what that allows me to do then is just get my bracket under that lever there and just lever it out and it can pop out these rivets 
so probably need some more rivets later but it for now allows me to pop them out clean um, anyway at the moment so yeah so I've taken the bolt out taken that rivet out now so there's one more one rivet at the bottom here to take out um, and then that's this then coming coming loose so a bit of a pain the plastic one is broken but it's just too they are just too firmly in place here in terms of um, area so on this one my bracket's quite thick uh, the tool I've made up so I'm just going to loosen it a little bit I've got a very small nose screwdriver here I'm just working it a little bit looser on my rivet once I get enough of a gap to get my homemade tool in which is just about now I hope Okay, well, there's a lot of movement in these. Give me that. I think obviously if you've got a thinner tool, it will help because you can get under it so much better than this one. There we go. Right, there we go, that was that one out as well. So, um, they do come out using that method, but it's quite a, a full on method to get those rivets out. So, so that's now the rivets out. So we've got two rivets out, and we've got our bolt out. Put those away in a second. Um, and now, now these are held in by little white some clips along here. You see around the other side. Okay, so these are the clips. Just be careful. So you've got two clips there. Another clip. Now, when it comes to the next piece, there's actually some little white clips. I've seen that in the wing that I've purchased. There's some small white clips basically there's put there's about one two three four about seven clips holding it in place all the way down to there now i can see that they've obviously snapped a couple in what they've sent me so i don't know how well these pop out okay So now, obviously, if you were doing just your bumper, you could stop there. I am doing the wings. I've got to take these clips out. I can see the problem, yeah, while they're snapping. Let me see. I think I must be able to get to it from up here. Yeah, I'm going to take out this inner lining. Because I think if I get to the inner lining, I can squeeze them. I can see I've got different clips. And there's a danger I'm going to snap these clips, I think, if I pull them from this side. So I think they're your plastic. Okay, so yeah, I've got another couple of um, roots. I'm working my way round now. Where there? Okay, so I can see. There are two more rivets here and here behind the trim, and there's another one down by the sort of other side of the wheel here, and they're all the, the rivet ones like the bonnet. So I take these three out. I think we will then be able to sort of move the in, inner lining in, and then get to the clips from behind, which will allow us to 
push them together to get this trim off so we don't break any of the clips. Okay, so actually, they are just unclipping. I kind of just took this bit down and I could see it wasn't really adding much value. Only thing is, you've got to be careful of, the very bottom one is a slider and actually I should have gone down with it and I pulled it and it snapped that very bottom bit. So I'm now going to have to glue that back together before I put that back into the car. That's a bit of a pain that, just be careful on that last one. You've got a basically got a white clip there. So there's your clip right at the bottom. And actually, if I'd slidden that downwards, it perhaps would have stopped that snapping. So just something to be aware of on that very last that very last clip. Okay, good. So that's that piece off. Um, we will now turn our attention to the bottom bracket so underneath the car there are five bolts i believe i'll go under and just check that you just twist off which loosens up the front but um i'll do those now and then i'll confirm to you from underneath what you have to do okay so we've now loosened off we've taken out um the push fit ones so just a reminder you've got a couple of different fittings going on here You've got these push fit ones which you kind of push up and come out and there's been uh, there's one two three four of those across the wing here so we've done that so this kind of carpety bit comes loose um, down the bottom here there's then two more which are holding on the plastic sill at the bottom these look like they're um, actual rivet ones so again we'll have to rivet these back in at the end with the rivet gun but these two here um, will need to be really prized out. So what I'm going to do again, as we did before, kind of loosen them a little bit. I've got a little tool I've made up, which is a bit thick to be honest. But it sort of did the trick before. There we go. It's actually broken that rivet off there actually. Okay. Snap that rivet one out of the way. And the reason why I'm doing this, if you remember, is to get to the two bolts, the bottom here of this wing, because they're underneath. So that's why I'm having to take this off, unfortunately, as well. Where my tool's a bit thick. If I have any more of these to do, I would go and make a smaller tool just because it only took 10 seconds to make this one. So I think. that one out as well basically they are broken those rivets now um, so there's no you know, denying what's happened there um, right next thing is it looks like this sill is going to have to be dropped a little bit as well so we're going to have to have a look at how that sill kind of comes up the way for us to get to the the bottom two bolts because you remember they go right underneath here so we're going to have to get richly to the very, very bottom. So we've got to drop this down at least a reasonable distance. Okay, bit not actually sure. There's, to remove these side skirts looks a bit tricky actually. And there's some clips on the inside. Look quite hard to get to. Um, just went on a couple of forums to see if I could see how you get them off. Um, not 100% clear to be honest. But that said, I don't think I need to take them off because I'm just taking the wing off, not the side skirts. There's actually enough clearance here. If I just pull it back a little bit, you can actually get a socket in there to get to those two bottom brackets of this wing. So I think I'm good now. And all I've taken off basically is one rivet under here 
and the two rivets here on the inside. I've taken out three rivets off this side skirt. It's given it enough maneuverability to get the wing off or to get the bolts off from the bottom. So I don't think I need to. So at the moment, I'm not gonna to touch it. Um, I'm gonna focus on uh, taking the rest of the bumper off. Okay, so on the front, there are three of these twist screws. They're located kind of one, two, three, pretty easy to see in spot. Just twist them 90 degrees and they pop out. So there's three of those that have come out. Right, um, as far as I know now, my bumper should be loose enough to start coming. Now, I don't need to take off my whole bumper. So I'm gonna see if I can just ease out this side because all I'm trying to do, remember, is get to these today. So, but if it is coming, then the bumper's pretty well probably off anyway. I believe there's some clips that go all the way around here. When you pull it, it unclips itself. So now all that's off. I'm basically going to pry from here and see what happens. Oh yeah, I read about this one. Ah, so there's a little. I heard about this in in here where the nut comes out. It's sort of tucked in. So, there you go. So the bolt is sort of in a washer here. So you need to, um, I'll see if I can show you that one. So just there where I've been working, just in there, where the bolt is, it actually sits on the inside of it. So you have to prise it off. So now that's off. Okay, now it's clipping off now. There we go. It's good. So I can actually now see one of my bolts on my wing, which is just there. And then my next two are here and here. So from my perspective, oh so much to zoom out here. So wing-wise, I'm just I've just unclipped it. I can see my wing bolt, one bolt, two bolts, and I think I've got a third bolt just there. So I could do with a little bit more space. It would probably just help a little bit more. There we go. So I think I've probably got enough room now to get my wing off without taking off my entire bumper, which would be good for me. So, um, Everything's loose. They look like little 10 mil, so I'm just gonna get some 10 mil. I don't know if I can get this in there. Yeah, so that's one. So I think I've got three bolts here I need to get off. So that's number one. My second one is there. Feel for it. I actually don't feel anything. On the second one, there's no bolt. So I've got one more bolt there. Um, I'm going to struggle to get my impact in there, so I'm going to just get a socket with a bend on it so I can get in there and just ratchet that one out. Okay, so I'm just using a Bend socket here to get this out. So you, it's not in too tight to be honest. So I think we will do it. Fairly loose now, so I'm just doing it with my fingers it's with the socket.
Okay, my bolt is, I think, out. It's not actually come out of my hand, but it is out. Good. Second bullet. So actually there was only two bolts holding that in. One, two. The other one wasn't actually holding them in. Good. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think we're all good now. We're loose. So now we're going to work through now. We've got a couple more of these favourite rivets to take out. Um, these are just the push ones. So there's one, two, three here at the top. Okay, so you've got one here, one here, one here. You need to get those out because you need to get to these bolts. There's two bolts here and here you can see for the wing. Um, there's another one there. You might need to take all three out to get as nice clearance. Depends how much kind of leeway we get on these bolts. But to give us, get it on the socket nice, I will take those three out as well. Okay, so we've just taken off now the um, one, two, three, four uh, plastic push fits. Then there's two bolts, so we've just taken out two bolts, 10 mil heads, there and there. Got one more there to take out as well, which is just right in that corner. I need to get my 10 mil. Same bolts, we'll double check in a moment. Okay, yeah, so all three of these bolts are the same that I've taken off so far, so no difference there. Okay, so we're now loose here, here, and here, and here. We're now going to work inside the door lining, so we know that we've got. One just inside the door arch. So when we open up the car, we've got one more bolt just here. So just the wing mirror level there. Just taking our time with these ones because they are painted in black paint. Okay. Okay, note this one has got a washer on it. Okay, so this one here is contained with a washer. The other ones did not have a washer on them. Well, they did have a washer, but it wasn't kind of painted black with a larger washer. Okay, so we've got those. We've then got, um, I think it's, I thought we had one more bulb in the middle. Okay, 
just moving to the inside here. So, a quick look. Yeah, it's actually one more bolt, but it's bolted from the other side. I can see it's actually bolted through from the inside, not from the outside. So maybe you pull the wing away and then get to it, because it's very odd. I'll show you what I mean. So this last, we've got the two to take off by that sill as well. They're our last two. So if you look here on this, we've just taken off that one by the wing, taken off that one, so we've done those two. That's the top one. We've got this to take off here, this one. And there's no bolt. It looks like there's something coming from this side, which is particularly weird. Um, so I must have to put my hand through that um, sort of cloth material and there must be a bolt from the inside of the wing going through. So I'm just going to have a quick feel to see if I can feel where this bolt is because it's not from the door side um, as I just thought it might be. Okay, so I've turned the wheel the opposite direction. I'm going to take out the insulation. So there's some insulation here you need to take out, I think. And we need to take this out because Taking that out, which sort of sits there like that in the car. Mine was trapped down like that. So it's obviously rather than like that, it was like that. Okay, you've also then got one extra piece of insulation, like polystyrene almost. Okay, so you've got that piece which is sitting down like that, down the wing. Okay, cool, and now I've done that, I can actually see that other bolt. It is up there, yeah. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my drill on that. So, and that bolt is again the same as the other four bolts except the one from up here which was colour coded. Okay, so all those are out. Last two for me are these bottom two uh, to try and get out now as well. So I'm going to try and just get these last two out by just sort of holding back the um, the, the seal just enough so I can get to these bottom two under here as well. So,
think it might fit on that. <laughs> So that's all the bolts out now, mud down me. Um, so let's see if we can get this wing off. Okay, so now we're gonna to attempt to remove it. Um. I have one more bolt here, which I hadn't spotted. One more bolt to go. Um, okay. Okay, so just one more bolt here. This is actually a 30 mil bolt, this one. So just remember that one there, bigger 30 mil bolt. So actually looking at the wing, there was three sizes of bolts. Two for the bottom, one large one there, and the rest are all the same. Um, and the black painted coated one or whatever cutty or car is on the wing. Okay. Looking up here, just by the windscreen, I hadn't taken off. There's a couple of um, just light plastic trimmings just around here. So I just need to prise these off as well carefully. Um, I'm going to use a bit of plastic again. Yeah, I think this one's had a new windscreen and it's uh okay, so it's got a couple of little clips, just nothing major. I think this one's had a bit of extra silicon for or maybe it's had a new windscreen or something. So I'm just prizing that off. Okay, we just unclipped, just literally you heard that clip, that was just unclipping, so no problem there. Okay, and then I'm just figuring out if there's anything else holding it. It feels like there's something else holding it at the moment. Okay, that all feels okay. Looks like it's coming out of the bottom there. Okay, just got some like sticky tape here. There's like a blob here, which is just literally unstuck now. And that is my wing out. Fabulous. So, so 
So there we go, I hope that was helpful. You can now see how to take that wing off. Just give you a zoom in in case you needed to see where any connection bits are. Um, yeah, but that's it. So I hope that was helpful to you to see how you take your um, your wing off. We're going to basically reassemble it now, so hopefully it'll be pretty straightforward reassembling it in the same or backwards order. Okay, so two small things. Remember to move your plastic trim off your previous wing onto this one and I have actually just bent this down slightly I know it sounds a bit weird it'll bend back it's quite soft just to get it past that sill because it was very soft that sill so I need a bit of maneuverability here Dropping that piece back in to there. So I've kind of put that piece in first and I've dropped that piece in before I've offered it up. So, I'm going to put my colour coded one in now to hold this top one. So I need to get this all nicely lined up. Start with, I'm not going to do them all up super tight. What I'm going to try and do is keep use the colour coding of where everything was in terms of like the washers. Try and get as accurate as possible. each wing will be different in terms of how you get it lined up but the more accurate I can line everything up the better so I'm now just loose, loosely putting in all of my nuts just to make sure I can get them all in before I tighten anything up. I see I'm doing mine in the order I took them out in. I think I am. So I'm doing These ones first, and on the top here. This is the larger 13mm nut, the front one, by the front there. So these ones are all the same size. One, two. Then the two longer, thinner ones were from these two bolts here and here. So again, I'm going to go here, 
this one lined up. Can Probably the trickier one to get to. The longer deep sockets, just a little bit fiddly. But see that for you. We're getting there now. So uh, just remind them. So now put in loosely those three bolts, four bolts. We put that one in. And actually, just done these two up. I'm making sure I've got my gaps the same. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. So obviously you want to make sure your gaps are spot on. Unfortunately I couldn't find a black ring, <laughs> otherwise it would have probably matched in perfectly. Because um, actually they've come out, um, it matches in pretty good. So if you can get one off the colour of your own car, even better. Um, yeah. We've got to go down there and undo those up as well in a second. But let me just get this one here tightened up. Okay, so I'm going to take these ones back in. Right, that's my old wing. I'm going to basically make sure everything is up. 
lining up nicely. Just gonna check my gap. Actually, on the other side, that gap is super tight. So actually it does come across and go super tight anyway um, on that other side. So that actually looks okay. So that's good. So actually, I guess on reflection, you didn't need to say take out these three clips if you weren't doing or taking your bumper off as well. But obviously, we kind of did both there, um, not just for the wing. So I'm going to put these back in now. I don't need these. And I'm going to tighten up these bolts on top, clip this back into place. Then my last two. So I'm just going to tighten everything up and um, that's it really. And then we'll maybe just do the last piece when we, in a second. Okay, so all our bolts is done up. Um, I've actually just been making sure my door liner is, um, my kind of joints are all kind of perfect on the door. Just a tip really. The screw that's behind the wing just here is the one that gives you that alignment. So. You, you want to be nice and flush here, get your lines perfect. And the bottom one, so I kind of did the bottom ones up and then I just pushed it in and then did the bolt up. So basically get your drill from here like this. Just give it a push and then tighten it. As you tighten it, you'll get that absolutely spot on in terms of flushness. And then obviously make sure your door's not catching at all when you do that. Um, and that is pretty well it. So. Um, I put, I've done all the nuts, I've put everything back together. Um, I'm going to leave my trim off because um, I'm going to the spray booth with it to get it blended in with the bonnet and the, the wing. Um, so last few bits for me then is just to put these back in. Right hand side, this way round, it's got the symbols on it so I know which way round that goes. And my dog. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, babes. He obviously hasn't seen me for ages because I've been doing this. He's very excited to see me. Oh, so much. I've got my glasses off. Hello, babes. <laughs> Good girl. Turn down for two seconds. Ah, right. Where I was just up to. <laughs> Leave it. Ah ah! So I'm just going to sort my dog out. Okay, so I'm just finally fitting the sound insulation again. I think it just basically pushed all the way up. These never go quite back in, do they, smoothly? on the outside because it gets clipped on by the uh, trim so the carpet actually stays here and then when it gets clipped back together it gets clipped in with the carpets and that's how all that stays in back together so um So just take this off. So this is my bonnet last week, but now that's it. That's back together. Just check my line there. It's good. So I'm slightly out here and here with my bonnet line. So what I'll probably do is just tweak the bonnet to get that absolutely perfect. That one comes down a bit. This one's just sitting up a little bit. 
So I just need to have a quick tweak around with the bonnet to make sure I can get that absolutely spot on. But otherwise I'm pretty pleased with that. And that's how you do your wing. <laughs>